Hi, this is Eric Bartsock, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the drain pump on your Whirlpool washer. These instructions also apply to other Whirlpool Corporation brands, including Maytag, Amana, and more. If you need to purchase a new drain pump assembly for your Whirlpool washer, you can check our website, PartsSactor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. Here at Parts Sector, we only sell authentic, genuine parts sourced directly from the manufacturer. The washer's drain pump is responsible for draining water out of the washer after the cycle has finished. If the drain pump is broken or damaged, the washer may not drain or may leak water from the pump. For this repair, disconnect power and water to the washer. For this repair, you'll need access to the bottom of the washer, so you'll want to flip it onto its front on a soft surface to avoid scratching or damaging it. Make sure you grab an extra pair of hands when doing so to avoid injury. The drain pump is located here. Open the drain pump to access the electrical connector by pulling here. Depressing the locking tab, remove the electrical connector. Then remove the wires from the retainer. Then, using a 5 16 inch nut driver, remove the three screws holding the drain assembly in place. Ensure that you have a towel nearby for any water that may leak. Then, using a pair of slit joint pliers, remove the hose clamp from the drain pump. Then, pull the drain pump away from the washer. Gently but firmly pull on the hose as you rotate it to free it from the drain pump. This might require a good amount of force. If you need a new drain pump assembly, you can check out our website, PartsDoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure that you are searching with the model number from the tag on your washer to make sure you are getting the correct part. To install, align the hose to the drain pump and press it into place. Then, reinstall the hose clamp to the drain pump. Next, align the drain pump to the bottom of the washer and press it into place. Then, reinstall the three screws. Then, route the wires under the retainer of the drain pump. Reconnect the electrical connector and close the cover. Then, with everything put back together, test the washer for any leaks. And that will be it for today's video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And for more videos like this, please consider subscribing.